Welcome to Kelly's Corner. I am going to show you how I made mason jar tissue dispensers. The supplies you will need are mason jars with rings, spray paint, vinyl words or designs, rubbing alcohol, Mod Podge sealer, felt, hot glue gun with hot glue, an oven, Kleenex perfect fit tissues, paper or styrofoam plates, embellishments of your choice, and a cutting machine such as a Cricut. This could be optional, I am not sure, but vinyl letters that you buy at the store could possibly work, but I am not sure. And then again, they may not stick at all to the glass jars, so that may not be a good idea. You will need the one quart size mason jars. You don't have to have a whole box full of jars, just however many you want to do. And you don't have to have this brand of mason jars. After washing and drying your jars, you will need to use rubbing alcohol on them. I got the alcohol swabs to rub on them and to clean them extra good. The rubbing alcohol will help the paint to stick better. Notice my jars. They don't have any of the words on them, the raised words. I prefer these for the kind of project I'm going to do. So if you want to do a different project with the raised words, then you can buy the kind of jars that have those. Now I'm going to fast forward all of this cleaning process with the rubbing alcohol. I don't think you want to see all of that. Make sure you have good ventilation when spray painting. I am painting the first two jars in white chalk paint. I am painting the last three jars in almond colored gloss paint. Now I am starting to paint the jars top side up. When I painted the jars upside down, I couldn't paint the top part of the jar very well, so that's why I'm having to do this. I've also got the metal lids that came with the jars sitting on top of them to keep the paint from getting on the inside. I did about five or six coats of paint. You can do however many you want to do. After you are finished painting them, you need to put them in the oven. Make sure the oven is cold and not preheated. Here I am showing you the jars in my oven. I put them in upside down because they have a tendency to stick to the rack because of the paint. And then shut the oven door. Here I am showing my 
jars through the oven door window. I know you can't see them very well, but look closely, they are there. After the jars are in the cold oven, you need to preheat the oven to 325 degrees. And then set the timer to 30 minutes. While the jars were in the oven, I worked on my vinyl words in my Cricut design space. When the timer goes off, just turn the oven off, but do not get the jars out. You need to let the jars cool completely down before you get them out. This could take a few hours, so it is best to do this when you are not going to be needing the oven for a while. I like to do this after supper or in the evening sometime. I am going to be using Cricut Vinyl in black and white. On your Cricut, turn the dial to vinyl and load your mat, then start cutting. Here, I am transferring my vinyl words to my jars. I am using painter's tape because I, that's all I had. And it worked fine. After I put the vinyl on the jars, I applied Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer to the jars. I sprayed them with the sealer while they were upside down and right side up. It is hard to get the top of the sides very well when it's upside down, so that's why I turned them right side up. I gave them a couple of coats of this sealer on the top and bottom of the sides. After spraying the sealer on, I let them dry for a while. Now I'm going to spray the rings that came with the jars with black spray paint. It says that it is rust protector, but that doesn't really matter. This is some that I had gotten on clearance, so it works for me. Next, I'm going to work on the top, the part that goes under the ring that the tissues will come through. I used felt. I just took the lid and placed it on my felt and cut around it with scissors. And then I took and cut a slit in the top like a plus sign. I used black felt so that it will match the black ring. I also started decorating my jars with embellishments, and one thing I used was jute. Another thing I decorated my jars with were pretty flowers. I am using Kleenex Perfect Fit in these jars. They fit perfectly like their name says. To get them ready to put in the jars, take the lid off the cylinder container. Then start pulling them out. 
but keep them together and not messed up. After you get them out of the cylinder container, you are now ready to put them in your mason jar. Just slide them right down into it. The jars are almost finished. Now that my rings are dry, I was able to put everything together. One thing I did do that I am not able to show you here is I hot glued the felt inside the ring. When I did not hot glue it in, the tissues just pulled the felt right through. Thank you for watching my video here at Kelly's Corner. I would also appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.